Hello, and welcome back to Undertale. Last time, I did something horrible. And then, about six hours after that recording was finished, I remembered that a frog told me how to avoid doing something horrible, and I was kind of sad. But also there were some pretty funny skeletons. In any case, we're in a snowy area, and we should probably investigate further? Hmm, a fishing pole. I'm pressing the wrong keys on the keyboard. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Sure. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. I do? You send the line back out. Why can't I decide on my own whether or not to call? Oh well. I guess some phone numbers are best left untrifled with. Oh hey, skeletons. So, as I was saying about Undyne, or Undine, <laughs> Sans! Oh my god! Is that... a human? Uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! Popular! Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then... Then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. Yeah. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. All right. Fun times with skeletons. That's not a skeleton. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Well, uh... Ugh. That's an interesting attack pattern you have there. Oh, I just noticed that I am level 5. Have I- did I level up 4 times from committing an atrocity? Your hat is pretty great, sir. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. I... Okay. Hmm. It takes him a few... It take... It... It... I have to... Hmm. He is not yet assured that his hat is fantastic. I suppose. Whoa! So am I supposed to... You tried to steal his hat.
There's such a thing as too many hats, I've heard. So... This is a difficult attack. <laughs> yes, yes, your hat is very good. I'm very bad at video games. There we go. Uh... Well, I ended up sparing it to some... Oh wait, I was supposed to examine this. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Oh, Papyrus. Maybe one day your dreams will come true. Absolutely no moving! Oh well, too late for that. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Okay, so we've got some weirdo dogman. Hobbies include squirrels. Alright. What if I don't move an inch? Oh ho! What if I pet a dog? <laughs> Look at his face! What? I've been pet! <laughs> He has indeed. Check out how pet that dog was. S something pet me! Something that isn't moving! I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. <laughs> well, alright, that occurred. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Let's move past this screen before my nearby dog wakes up. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Remember, blue stop signs. That's not very helpful, but I have already... We... I have already learned about blue attacks from the dog. North, ice. South, ice. West, ice. East, Snowden Town. And ice. I think going to town sounds like a good idea. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called... sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh ho! The human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you'll find this one quite shocking! For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze! When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Science, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please! 
Okay, try now! <laughs> You're not very good at- Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily! Too easily! However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am! <laughs> Alright, Sans, tell me how to do your puzzle. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? He, he kinda is, in a, in a weird way, I guess. In, in some way or another. Hello, Jesterman. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Sure. Have a super duper day. Tell your friends, there's ice cream out in the middle of the woods. It sounds like a great time. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Aw, that's lovely. Hmm. Could this be a confounding puzzle, or is this just a snowball? I actually am not sure. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just five gold. Sure. Did I say five gold? I meant fifty gold. Really? How about five thousand gold? Fifty thousand gold. That's my final offer. But you don't have the money. Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> okay. Hmm, perhaps I am supposed to get this snowball into the corner pocket, as it were. Ice. Hmm. Oh no! When it goes on the ice, it melts into nothingness. I see, I see. I'm sure this puzzle is in some way vital for my continued survival. Yay! I've won golf! Green, your concern and care for a ball led you to a delicious victory. You are awarded one gold. This flag has nothing else to offer. Thank you, flag. Wait. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Alright, good to know. It's good to be able to distinguish shapes from one another. Smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman, white rating, can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, a puppy, blue rating, smell of rolling around. Weird smell, humans, green rating, in red, destroy at all costs. What? His. Hers. I'm not sure what the deal is with this screen, but that's okay. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Oh no! It's a word search. <laughs> I've never heard of the word 
Gios f f f f f f f before. I can clearly see where it is, though. Sans, that didn't do anything! Oops! I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Uh. Hmm. A moral decision, the likes of which I have never encountered. I mean, crosswords are just looking for stuff. Jumbles involve thinking. Ha! Ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent. If they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Yeah! <laughs> I just wanted to take a moment to, uh, admire that some more. Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> oh, that guy. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Oh, mouse. You can't... You can do whatever you set your mind to. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly draped again by the great Papyrus! Yeah, <laughs> Papyrus. Well... Perhaps one day, the mouse will not know that he is not progressing. A plate of frozen spaghetti. So cold, it's stuck to the table. An unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Hmm. I hope I get the secret mouse ending by talking to all the, ma the mouse holes. The mice holes. Warning! Dog marriage. Yes, you read that correctly. <laughs> well, I, I have nothing against it, especially since they're probably more intelligent than your average dog. Look, a lesser dog. Hmm. You barely lifted your hand, and Lesser Dog got excited! Aw, oh, there's a little doggy! Is there something underneath all of the snow? Oh ho, there is some sort of, uh... Map, perhaps. I need some dogs to help me clear this snow. That would be... This is a little bit difficult to read. <laughs> I can see that there's an X. I'm not sure of what this means. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. That's probably what it meant. It looked vaguely like this area, so... It wasn't really that well hidden in any way. Oh no! Something. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. -f. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Oh no! It's two dogs. Who might be married. Dogami and Dogaressa. 
Alright, alright. I'm going to... Um... Roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow. I smell like a weird puppy. Please do not kick me. I smell okay now! Hooray! That is correct. I am actually a dog. It has been my true form all this time. Hmm. Now what? What if I roll around some more? That's a terrible pun. Oh no. What? Oh, right, they have giant axes. I had forgotten. What if I do this? Wow, pet by another pup. Wait, I thought blue wasn't supposed to hurt me. I guess it's not the same blue. And now I will pet you as well, because you said not to leave you out. Come on now, I pet both of you. They have been expanded. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy! Now see, that's how you handle... ...things without... ...ruining them, I guess. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. This is just a sampler puzzle, I guess. And then there's gonna be a harder version? What?! How did you avoid my trap?! And, more importantly, is there any left for me? Moral decisions again? Yeah, there's some left for you. Really? Wowie! You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta, just so you could share it with me? Fred not, human! I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Heh <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm making friends. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. <laughs> Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so... I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look, to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is... Worry not, human! I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see here. Triangle? Okay. I am bad at puzzles.
What happens if I talk to you? So, you want a hint, huh? Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all of the X's into O's. You should try that. Ask again for more great hints. Maybe solving the last puzzle again will help. Ask again for more great <laughs> Eureka! I figured out the puzzle! You seem like you're having fun, though. Do you absolutely, absolutely want the solution? Wow, you're truly a puzzle passioneer! I'm so enthused by your enthusiasm! You can do it, human! <laughs> okay, I can do it, human. I can, I can do it. Probably. Uh... Hmm. Well, I ruined it. Let's see... I'm not exactly sure what I'm... How my thought process is or is not working here. Let's see. Let's just say that I'm enjoying the music instead of having trouble with the probably simple puzzle. Okay, fine. <laughs> I figured out the puzzle! The solution is... Please imagine a drum roll in your head. That tree over there has a switch on it! Check it out, E! Okay, so was there not really a... Is it not possible after all? There's a switch on the trunk of this tree. I've... I already... <laughs> you already told me the solution. I guess it actually is... wait... I did flip the switch, right? But did that do anything? Wow, you solved it! My advice helped! It really helped you! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle, then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Hey, Sans. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. I... I can, uh, understand. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys! You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color! Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric! They will electrocute you! Green tiles are alarm tiles! If you step on them, you'll have to fight a monster! Orange tiles are orange-scented. They will make you smell delicious! 
<laughs> Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You'll slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Got it. Great, then here's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah, <laughs> get ready. I saw that coming. <laughs> cool. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working. Sure isn't. Can't examine the impassable title. Hey look, a dog. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. That's how it works, right? You can do it, dog. Melt that snow with your laser eyes. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Aware of dog, please pet dog. A box of pomeraisins. It's like Pomeranian, but with the raisins, I guess. I cannot pet dog. I do not have the ability. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Aww. But how does it even know what artist is? How does dog... Maybe when we come back, it will finally have made something that is not quite a block of snow. <laughs>